Hello guys, I continue the series of building a typical Laravel SaaS based on the course on Laravel Daily Comp. So I release five lessons this week for free on YouTube. And topic of the day is Teams and user invitations. And two more videos to be published later this week about this topic. And if you want the full course, including the link to the repository and upcoming lessons on subscriptions, other SaaS features, and even marketing at the end of this course, I'm planning to talk about how to market your SaaS. Then, yeah, the link to the full course is in the description below. Now let's get to Teams and user invitations topic. In this video, let's talk about teams in typical Laravel SaaS or organizations or companies or whatever you call it. It's a typical requirement and this is actually a broader topic. There are three topics interconnected. Teams, multi-tenancy to separate the data and then subscriptions and billing how to bill users or teams. And to be honest, in this course, I was not sure in which order to tackle those topics, but I decided to start with teams. And then on top of teams, in the following videos, we'll talk about multi-tenancy and billing. And even within the teams, it's pretty individual how the teams are created, assigning users, invitations, and stuff like that. So it's pretty individual. This is one of the reasons why in Laravel Starter Kits, there are no teams functionality by default. It used to exist in Laravel Jetstream and you still can use that. But in the new starter kits, they decided at least for now to not include the teams because it's too custom and each project needs some kind of different teams implementation. So I'll show you a few examples of real applications. For example, Laravel Nightwatch. I have a Laravel daily team and how it works for each team member. I can choose the role of collaborator or regular user, so to speak, or admin. Admin can manage users as one of the features. And then I can invite member with full name and email and choosing the role. So this is how typically team functionality works. And this will be exactly the code of this lesson, how I will show you to implement implemented in our SaaS project in Laravel, but also it may be much more complex. For example, users belonging to multiple teams, users with many more roles per team or even different roles management within the team to create custom roles. Also, user may create multiple organizations and assign the team. So yeah, it all depends. And then of course it affects the billing. So for example, this is the page on our Laravel daily. We have team plan and individual plan. And on team plan, the prices and the plans are different. And in our case, we decided to hard code the limit to seven team members just out of practice. But in general, then it's much more complex to calculate per seat billing. And we'll talk about billing later in this course. But generally, what you need to understand is that it's almost impossible to have off the shelf solution for each project for teams, multi tenancy and billing. So I will try to stick to the most popular, most common setup of all of that. And let me show you how it works in my implementation of SAS. So how it works when user registers, first I will demonstrate and then we'll dive into the code. So I use fake filler Chrome extension to register and then immediately the organization is created for that user. They don't have to specifically specify the organization name or even create the organization is just implied. In the database, we have this organization created and then in the user's table, there's organization ID somewhere. Yep, organization ID and also column is admin or not. So again, as I said, most simple and most common setup with the assumptions that user belongs only to one organization. And also there are only two roles, admin and simple user. So basically the user of SAS can use that SAS as just a simple user without even knowing that there is a team. But if they want to expand in the settings of default LiveWire starter kit, in this case, a new menu item team appears where they can invite users to their organization. So next, how it works, I invite the user with fake filler Chrome extension. I again, fill in the details, choose as collaborator and send invitation, which fires the email in my queue. 
I did queue work and that is already processed. I'm using database driver for the queue and then I'm using mail trap to test the email and we have the new email. Hello, accept the invitation. Then let's copy that link and I will paste it in a new browser simulating a scenario of a new user and we have registration form but with signature of that particular invitation which is in the database. So we have a separate invitations database table and if we refresh we have that invitation as not accepted and each invitation has unique token. So that new user is on register form but with disabled fields of name and email. They just come up with password and accept and create account and now we are inside of the dashboard belonging to that team and if we go to settings we don't have the team here as a menu item because we're invited as a collaborator and not administrator. So yeah, this is how it generally works. Now let's dive into the code and I will show you the details. The code is already pre-written as I do often in my videos to save you time from watching me typing and let's explore what was actually done in the code. First, database changes. So we create a new database table organizations. Again, you can call it teams or companies, whatever. Then the next database table is invitation belonging to organization. And again, unique token and is admin or not. So new users invited are not users yet until they register. This is another thing you may want to tackle differently. You may want to register users right away and then only kind of confirm and accept them as users. There's also email verified ad field, which you may want to use in the users table. But I personally think that invitation are not really users yet. So my personal preference is to log them separately. Also organization fields to users table, those two fields that you already saw before. And of course then separate models for all of them. So organization with fillable name and relationship to users, then invitation model with casting and again relationships. And also token becomes the route key name instead of ID of invitation. So they will try to find the invitation by key by token and not by ID. So this is eloquent feature. And also in the users model, we have those fillable as well. And also at the bottom, the relationship to organization and a few functions for simplicity like helpers. Okay, so that's the database level. Next, when the new user is registering, we need to create the organization for them in the process. So in recent versions of starter kits, they moved the registration process into fortify actions. So it's not a controller anymore, at least at the time of shooting this video. So in the create new user fortify action, in addition to user create, we need to add something like this, create the organization with fake name based on the name of user and then assign that organization ID in the registration process. And same thing in the socialite controller when creating the user from sign in from Google or GitHub. Same here, we need to assign organization here. Next, the process of invitation and user management. So we have new route resource in the group of authenticated users and we have a controller to manage the users. And in the layout blade of LiveWire, in this case starter kit, we have this line, new menu item in that sub item of settings, route to that user index with label of team. Inside of that controller, first we list all the team users and pending invitations. And we show that in the table and then there's create form. You already saw that. And then when storing the invitation, we create the invitation record in the database and send the email with Laravel notifications. Also, I've created a separate enum role enum like this for admin and collaborator. Also kind of like a helper to avoid using these strings all over the project. So this is just one example of using that enum from role being passed. And also we can delete the user from our team as well after a lot of checks if it's possible. And then finally, accepting the invitation is here on top in the route group with middleware guest, we have this URL. So there's accept invitation class, which in this case is live wire component because I'm trying to follow the pattern of in this case, live wire starter kit. But if you're using other starter kits, that could be a controller for you. In fact, the more I look at it, the more I think it should be a controller instead of live wire because there is not much dynamic things happening. But anyway, let's 
stick to this implementation and we have render in livewire which in controller would be just blade and this is almost a copy of register blade and i deliberately didn't use the same register blade because there are a few changes and then there would be a lot of if statements in the register which would be polluting register for users who don't want to use team functionality at all so separate live wire component with wire submit accept or it could be regular form action to the controller as i mentioned and then we're using flux input from live wire starter kit inputs from free version of flux library so mimicking all the registration form just in this blade and then when it is accepted, then we have this, again, mimicking the registration form of controller, creating the user, creating the organization, or in fact, we do have organization. So we're doing pretty much all the thing that regular Laravel registration does and redirect to the dashboard. So yeah, this is the overview of team functionality in a nutshell. Again, the simplified version for most common use case scenario. But of course, as usual, we can discuss in the comments what other functionality you're missing here or what would you have done differently maybe. So raise your concerns or questions in the comments.